como olvidar que contigo aprendí. My name is Andrés Cepeda, I'm from Bogotá, Colombia, and I'm a musician and songwriter. Te voy a amar, hoy tengo lo que me faltaba. I started my career very early. I was in high school when I formed my first band, which was called Polygamia. And we won this uh, radio contest, and the prize was uh, recording our, our first single, and this single was going to be promoted by, the, by this radio chain. The song became a hit. We were maybe 16, 17 years old, and our careers just got started this way. We kept on with the band for maybe eight years. We published four albums. We broke up. We didn't fight or anything, but we just uh, headed in different directions, you know? Then I began working as a sound engineer and I found a chance to sing again. Uh, around 1999, 2000, I published my first solo album, which was called Se Morir. Se morir y salirme siempre con vida. Then I started a new sound for me, which was uh, very, very different from the rock pop music I made with Polygamia. This was more uh, oriented, Latin oriented, and had bolero influences and song influences and very ro romantic and heartbroken themes, which make me feel very comfortable. And I started a new career thinking I could sing these romantic songs and write these romantic songs. And that's been what I've been doing the last maybe almost 15, 20 years. Um, I'm presenting my 13th album right now. This song is called Magia. It's a, it's a single from this album. Magia is a song about the magic of first love. The first time you feel uh, butterflies in your stomach and the, the first time you, your knees shake and you don't, you realize you're in love with somebody when you thought that was absolutely impossible. No, maybe you are beginning your teens, maybe you are a little bit older, but it's it's an event that marks us forever. Con tus ojos siento magia, es tan fuerte y se contagia. It's been a long way. I've, I've, I've been exploring different sounds in all these different albums. I've, I've been through pop, through bolero, mm, ballads, but main, mainly trying to, to, to sing romantic songs. I, I, I really enjoyed doing that. Mejor. Being on stage, uh, I, I think that's the most exciting point. It's, it's very nice, it's, it's, it's very emotional, it's, very, it's a great experience and you go very deep in yourself when you write. And when you produce, you go to the details and, and you take care of every single thing. It's per perfectly as you can imagine it. But uh, being on stage is, is different. You, you, you don't have so much control over things and that, that makes it more exciting, you know? And I think every little child who wants to be a singer or an artist uh, has this dream of being on stage, you know? And I can fulfill that anytime I have the chance, so I, I really enjoy it. I, I have a very, very good time on stage. I love it. Obviously, every year and every time you, you make an album, you, you have different ideas and the music and the sounds around you evolves too, so you kind of unconsciously are updating yourself. Every time you hear new music, every time you, you meet new musicians, new people, new composers, new producers, you update yourself constantly. And I think that's the best part of the process, to, to look back and to recognize those changes and those shifts and those turns you make on your career, because they define what you have learned, and that justifies all the things you do.